Hey guys, it's Lindsay with Mama Schmoo's Homeschool Reviews. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, I am a homeschooling mom to two kids. I have a son in kindergarten and I have a daughter in second grade. So this will be our fourth year of homeschooling. And on my channel, I'm like very passionate about sharing with you guys some of the resources and things that are working for us. So hopefully this video will be helpful for you guys. If you guys like these videos where I share with you guys what we're using and what's working for us, give me a thumbs up. So here are three books that I will be using um, primarily for my kindergartner this year. The reading lesson that I've talked about in the past, and then this is a new skill sharpeners um, that I did not use with my daughter, but I'm really happy to use it with him. It's called Spell and Write, and then Explode the Code. You guys know I'm obsessed with Explode the Code. I think it helps so, so much. So I'm going to share with you guys first the reading lesson, Teach Your Child to Read in 20 Easy Lessons. Now each lesson has about 15 to 20 pages per lesson. This is recommended for ages four to eight. And if your kids are under five, they say to read one page a day. If they're between five and six, a couple pages a day. And then if they're over six, three or more pages. But it's obviously your discretion because you're the parent teaching them. And if they seem to get like bored or they're frustrated, I would just stick with one page a day and leave it at that. So it's not so much pressure on you or your, your child. So here's the lessons and the sounds from 1 to 20 and what they're going to be going over. So if you want to pause it and look at it. Um, now with my daughter, we went all the way to lesson, I think, 9 or 10. And then she was already reading at that point. So you might not have to finish this book, but it is a very, very thorough book. And it goes over all the sounds. So I think that this is like a really good book to teach your kids uh, their phonics. So this is the alphabet sound. And this is what a chapter looks like at the beginning. This is chapter one. They are going to be going over C, O, S, A, and T. And they give you like a little like teacher guide instructional page at the front and introduce you to how um, they would like you to teach in this book and how they like you to point at the letter and go under the letter and say it and slide your finger like, under a word for them to get used to reading like that way like having them point at it and then over here they will show you the letters that you're going to be learning and then they have them um they have like a little picture to go along with the letter the way it sounds and then they have like a whole page of them just saying the letter sounds out loud and they have a little connect all the letters to the pictures here and then let's read they have first read each line out loud then ask your child to read it. So you're gonna be guiding them as much as you possibly can. And then eventually they kind of go off on their own and they know exactly what to do when you get into the book and they put their finger under it and then they connect the, the letters to make a sound. So we've done this with my son already. We've done several chapters already with him and so far so good. He was a little reluctant when I first started because I was trying to see if it was something that would be good for him. So we just did one lesson at a time or one page at a time and then just stopped if it was too hard for him. The beginning is pretty easy, but when it gets into the second and third chapters, if he gets frustrated, I just like take a break and we'll just do one and that's totally okay. I've also tried to make it more fun where I'll put it on the chalkboard like Sam and Sat, Cat and Rat. We will write all of those words that he's learning on the chalkboard or you can use a Dollar Tree little mat that you can get to do like dry erase marker letters on or you can write your dry erase markers on a window to make it fun. So you don't have to just use this book. This can be a guide for you. With any of these books that I'm sharing with you guys today, you don't have to do page to page, cover to cover, or um, do exactly the way that they're showing you. You can take a lot of these sounds and words and make your own um, reading lessons for your kids. Or if you're like someone that does not have time to do that and you just want to use the book as is, you can do it this way as well. But I would suggest to try to make it fun for your kids because sometimes it's a little intimidating and your kids get a little overwhelmed. And um, sometimes he might not want to do a reading lesson, so I will, like I said, make some words on the chalkboard and he'll erase it. Or we might just write in our notebook and he can trace over some of the words and read them with me. So it's just a really good way to have like a lesson already completed for you and you have a good foundational um you have a good foundation with using this book and like i said you can make it super super fun so this is what chapter five looks like and each um chapter like i said has about yeah like chapter five has 21 pages in it so every chapter has 
I would guess, I guess 15 to 22 pages. And they have little um, stories for them to read. And they always introduce the letter sounds at the beginning of the chapter. I just want to do a quick flip through. As you can tell, at the end of the book, the letters get a lot smaller because they're learning how to read a lot better by that point. Um, but take your time. Go slowly through it. Don't be overwhelmed. Make it fun. That is my recommendation for you guys. Um, you can make photocopies of this. You could spiral bound it. Um, I just like put like clear packing tape over it because I've used it so much that it was kind of like coming apart and I think I got this used I always get things used so it was falling apart so I just put like uh, shipping tape is it shipping tape yeah I put shipping tape over it to make the page like a little stronger because it's kind of falling apart we used it a lot with my daughter all right and so this is like a new book that I showed you in my kindergartners um, video if you've seen this it's just a new skill sharpener spell and write book that I wanted to use for my son. He started using it already and um, it's just nice. We go over the words and he can practice by tracing it and it's super cute. What letters missing and a little rhyme activity, matching activity. So I think that this is going to be a fun little book for my kindergartner to do to help him with his phonics. So we're gonna be doing this once in a while when he feels like it. This is Explode the Code, one that I've shared with you guys in the past. Um, they're gonna be going over lots of short A's and um, vowels in here. So they're gonna be going over the vowels. And this is just a lot of stuff that he's done already, um, but he's gonna be spelling the words that he's learning how to read. Lots of phonics mastery in this book and learning how to spell. So this is definitely good it goes hand in hand with the reading lesson book and it puts it to practice and so this is the stuff that they will be learning and explode the code as you can see it's it's definitely fun and a little challenging for a kindergartner so i've seen um, kindergartners and first graders use this i know my daughter did this in first grade the beginning of first grade so my son he finished the preschool books and now he's on to this one so it is a little bit challenging but I like it because it pushes him a little bit and it goes along with the reading lesson really really nicely I also have some resources that I'm going to share with you guys that I think are helpful um, you can get Bob books or these fun tale books or the Starfall learn to read I'll try to have these linked down below but the Starfall is really fun Starfall you can get for free online and um, all the characters that you'll see in these books are on the online app um, on the computer. So Zach the Rat they talk about. So this is um, book one. And these are readers for the kids to get started with. And they're just super fun little books that they could just read that are easy for them. And I am the robot and Mr. Mole. So they'll be, it gets a little hard as you can tell. So this is um, book 14. There's 15 books in size. So this is like what they're going to be reading at the end surfer girl book and that's what it looks like but I really like the pictures and how colorful it is I also really appreciate that Starfall is free online you can purchase Starfall for a really small amount but they have like free stuff that you can use and it goes along with this little um, book set which I think is really fun because it brings the characters to life this is fun tales and um, this is a really cute little like you can tell you get so many little books in here um this is the first one that you're gonna have your kids read they always have a little animal in the back and they talk about what animal they're talking about in the story so pam is a penguin they talk about the penguin and this one as you can tell is black and white so it's really really simple and there's a couple pages for this book and then it gets harder and harder um, I think there's like 25 in this book, Six. so this is Bug Pets, and this is what the 26th book looks like. But these are really tiny. I mean, you can tell this is like smaller than my hand. Little books for your little kindergartners for their little small hands so it's not overwhelming um, for them to start reading. So this is just another book set that we got. I think we got this from Bookshark. So I've been, I'll be using this down the road when he starts reading a little bit more and then the Starfall Learn to Read. I to share with you guys some more resources and things that are not really necessarily workbooks or uh, reading lesson books, but things that'll be more fun for your kids that might be in preschool, kindergarten, first grade, that are learning their phonics and some of the things that we've been using for years. So I grabbed a bunch of stuff from my home and thought I would show you guys some of the things that have been working for us and have really been helping them with their phonics 
and it's helped with my daughter when she was little and it's working with my son right now. So this is the all-time favorite Leapfrog Fridge Phonics and there's lots of little letters that you can choose from and you just put this in here and you push down on it and I'll spare you from the music because it's pretty loud. Um, there's two volumes on here actually and the kids usually put it the loudest um, but it makes the sound of the letter and it has a really good song that goes along with it that gets stuck in your head but that really really works and so this is a good option if you're just beginning to teach your kids phonics. This is also a fun activity from Leapfrog that I like. It's called Word Whammer and we've had this for several years now and the kids really like it. It's a very fun educational game and it teaches them how to read and put words together and so I will show this to you guys. Another leapfrog thing that I like is their tablet and it comes with this little tool that you can write with and you can trace the letters. And so there's two levels, level one and level two, and it's nice for them to learn how to trace and also then they can review their phonic sound after they trace it. If you're sitting with them, you can do that. So we really enjoy leapfrog in our family. I also like to introduce them to the leapfrog um, tag readers and all these fun little stories that they could read. It helps them um, read through the stories and then they can get help by clicking on it and it'll it'll say the word for them or they could actually have the leapfrog reader read all the books to them so I think that's a very good way to learn their phonics as well these leapfrog books um, you can get anywhere I also think that Upwords and Scrabble or Bananagrams or all of, any of those things are really good for your kids this is something that I just found um, when I was thrifting a few years ago and I thought it would be so fun to do with my kiddos. So they're stackable word games and you can stack like the word cat and then make it hat and then fat and sat and stack them that way. Or you could just get some Scrabble tiles that you have from your old Scrabble game and make words like you would like Bananagram. So any little tiles that you have with letters on them is just a really good way to reinforce the phonics and spelling. That this way. is always like a fun one. This is from The Learning Journey, and The Learning Journey you can find anywhere. You can go to Marshalls and find them, the thrift stores, or Amazon, and it's a great way to encourage spelling through using pictures, several so. um, puzzles in here that creates like three or four letter words, and this is something that I'm gonna be doing with my son, but we've been doing this for a very, very long time. He usually used to match up the pictures, um, but now since he's starting to read, I'm going to like, do the puzzles with him and go over the words and the pronunciation of all the phonics. I also like things like this that are super fun. The Melissa and Doug Alphabet Magnets. They have lowercase and uppercase on both sides and I like this one because they actually have a lid to it. A lot of Melissa and Doug things that I get do not have lids on it and that's my only complaint with Melissa and Doug is that they keep it open which is fine but I like the acrylic lids that go on here but they have like a lot of activities that they recommend right here to do with this but we like to write words on a refrigerator they like to put the alphabet in order and we go over the phonics sounds this way and it always makes phonics a lot more fun than just doing the books all the time we also have this from Melissa and Doug it's the same thing there's like an acrylic cover for it and um, this is the self-correcting a through Z letter puzzles and they have lots of like activities here that they recommend to do so an activity like this is really good because you can use um, the letter T and say T T T and then they have to find the animal that starts with the letter T like tiger so you don't have to just match up the actual letter to the picture you can actually use the phonic sound and have them learn it that way so this one's a really fun activity um, I also like to get things off Online that's free. This is from Play-Doh to Play-Doh and this is something that she's had on her website for years I think she still has it so it's like traceable letters that you can trace with your cars and when you go over the little letters you can Have them sound out the phonics for each letter So this one's a fun one and I just put it in a old photograph book that I never use You can get these at the Dollar Tree and I just printed off 
uh, one page for four letters and I cut them out and as you can tell it's been used a lot they use their little dry erase markers or you can use a car I also like to do like puzzles that match um, the pictures to the words this is a little more advanced where they would actually be reading um, this puzzle here like nest and connecting it to the picture so there's lots of these out here this one happens to be mud puppy and it's good for ages three plus but I use this when my daughter started reading and there's like 20 images and words on here they're really really pretty um, this one's a really nice set but you can get them like I said anywhere I also know that I think this company actually makes a lot of them like that too the learning journey they make a lot of these, these puzzles that have words on them to match up with pictures too so um, that might be something worth looking into I also like to do fun things like these with the kids I got this in a bookshark um, package for their curriculum for my daughters and their little I think they're called tiddlywinks I don't know that's what I remember them being called when I was younger um, or little discs and you can put them over a letter when you call out the letter um, and instead of doing alphabet bingo you know the way where you would say W or H you can always um, ask them to put on the letter sound so you can say D and they have to find the letter D and then you could say mmm and then they would have to put the disc on letter M so you can do it both um, the alphabet, letter, recognition, and if they're past that point, you can start doing phonics with them with the alphabet bingo. And you could probably get these for free online. I will try to find this online and see if I could uh, link it down for you or something similar, but you can probably print them off online. If you guys don't have time to print stuff off online and you just want to buy it, I will try to find uh, the link for you. I also like using these like foam letters from any craft store like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. It's such a fun way to put words together or have them create words for you. So as you can tell, like I do little three letter words for him right now, a couple four letter words, and it makes learning their words and phonics like really fun. And there's also lots of ways that you can like um, make a word like cat and then hide it in a sensory bin and have them pull it out and make the word themselves. Or you could do a word hunt around your house and have them spell things with their old, older siblings. So it's a very like fun way to um, just make things more hands-on for the kids that don't really love doing you know the reading books or the workbooks and I also showed this to you guys um, the dry erase boards that you get at the Dollar Tree are really nice so that you can write words on here as well if you don't have like a chalkboard you can use this because it's a dollar and then on the back it's blank so you can create anything you could put a flashcard here and then they can trace the same letter that they see and you can go over the phonics sound so there's lots of fun ways to um, learn phonics without having to buy all the bells and whistles just use the things that you already have around your house I hope this video was helpful for you guys if it was can you give me a thumbs up so I know that these videos are things that you want to see in the future thank you guys so much for watching I would love to have you guys subscribe to Mama Schmoo's homeschool reviews and I'll see you guys in my next one bye